Sky Taurus, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your mid-month reading for December 2021, so mid-December, all right? Do you want to say right off the bat, we are doing just a general um, oracle spread for this mid-month reading, not just money and career like I normally would do. It has been coming up, but it leaves it open for love and other categories, um, you know, just whatever needs to come out for you in general. But um, you were guided slash drawn to this reading for a reason, even if it's not just one of your main placements. I don't know why I felt the need to say that. Um, but as we cleanse the energy a little bit, wrapping up the earth signs, keep in mind this is general uh, as we move forward for the sign of Taurus. So yeah, like I said, we're going to pull a, an oracle spread for from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck, and then we'll clarify each one with some tarot from the Guild deck. I feel very puzzled in your energy, trying to figure things out. Okay, I do need, feel the need to mention, I saw an orb. It, it wasn't on camera. It happens to me these days. I saw an orb out of the my peripheral vision, um, and then it like came into my main vision. And so I do feel like that's relevant for your reading. It didn't happen for any of the others. You're going to be seeing a lot of spiritual activity this month. Just take a deep breath. Even if you're usually used to it or you've seen it before, could be overwhelming. Could take you by surprise. Uh, just, yeah. For my lovely Tauruses, I feel like it's an intense ending to the year for you. Wow. I'm going to pick that up. Bear with me. In all the meanwhile, Five of Pentacles, there's a situation that was from the other reading. There's a situation you don't fit in with anymore. Why do you feel the need to accept it moving forward? There's a reason. Oh, goodness. This came out in reverse. Spirit has your back. Okay. Yeah, there's a reason the, um, the orbs thing came out. But let's see what we have here. We were aiming for five, and we have six. You have a lot going on. Okay, even if people don't think you do, you do. It's a time to inspire others, to work with others, to get your voice out there, to figure out what's missing in your life and one way, shape, or form. Why haven't you been feeling fulfilled, complete, or just satisfied in a lot of ways? Why are you not as grounded as you should be? A change you made recently to ground yourself or to feel more simplistic or to head towards your destiny, your life path, your uh sole purpose is leaving people um in awe while certain other ones are closer to you uh questioning what you're doing you know what you're doing even if you feel like you're starting from the beginning yeah time for a deep dive don't question it we're beginning with eagle spirit spirit has your back at times in the second half of the month it's going to feel like they don't it's going to feel like that you're being messed with or you're being played with in one way, shape, or form, but you're abundant. And I feel like they're asking for a lot of uh, credit in regards to that abundance. Oh, goodness. I feel a bit on edge. They could, they have the ability to put you on edge if need be, or if they just choose to. With the five of wands, it just feels a bit chaotic, whether it's in your own mind, you know, what you're hearing in regards to your spiritual connection or your own habits. But all the meanwhile, you're very abundant. Your cup is overflowing. Spirit does have your back for the most part. But with the lovers and the nine of pentacles, there's a connection or connections you're considering where there's an immense amount of success on the horizon, uh, where it feels very backed up, very guided, divine. It's like there's this balance in the second half of the month, the end of the year for Taurus between love and independence, your career and your romantic love life. Does that make sense? All the meanwhile, feeling like as you reach for your independence, you just love what you do more than you ever expected to. And I know for some of you are like, okay, no, but it's true. You just wait. Yeah, 99 coming out. You're just being pushed to celebrate. All the meanwhile, there's a wish fulfillment when it comes to the abundance you desire the most at this time. Damn, Taurus. Things are moving way too quickly, though. It's like you almost can't catch your breath. And messages are coming and going between you and potential suitors. Uh, people you're considering wrapping up with love-wise, other friends as well, and clients and customers. As well as coworkers, if that's uh, pertaining to you. Ten of Swords for nothing is wasted. You're feeling burnt out. 
Okay, you're feeling depleted in a lot of ways. And you owe it to yourself to understand that nothing is wasted when you take time to rest, to nap, to step away from the stresses of life. All right, even the, the connections that are leaving you so damn abundant or the work that is leaving you feeling so fulfilled or bringing in that money at this time. You owe it to yourself to heal, to replenish, to make the best out of everything that, that's at hand. You don't want to feel as if you should have taken this time and then you slip up in one way, shape, or form or say the wrong thing because you're overly tired or just not giving yourself that space. I feel like you need your alone time as well. I'm seeing the Hermit card. There's something to be learned or gained at that time, even if you're not sleeping or resting or do a face mask. I don't know why I'm getting that as well. Elephant spirit, learn from the past. And so as the month rolls on, there's a focus on your past, not to make the same mistake, whether it's going with a similar individual or the same individual you used to be wrapped up with, or just not to stick with an old habit that is not leading you down the right path. I just saw the page of wands. You could be feeling a bit anxious. You just saw me drop all those cards and I feel like you're going to be pushed spiritually to drop something in the, I feel like the third week of the month or just at some point in the second half of the month in general. And it's going to be a moment where you want to go towards something that you know is not right for you or you intuitively feel is going to lead you down the wrong path or bring you back to certain old habits or an unhealthy situation one way, shape, or form. And it feels like a tease or a push you know, like spirits just trying to have fun or just mess with you, but they're really just trying to get you out of that thought process or to make you second guess, uh, second think twice about a choice you're moving towards. Wow. To view it as a gift of abundance. Wow. All the meanwhile, I feel like there is a level of abundance coming in to move you towards the fresh, the new, the abundant at this time. Because I feel like you're going to wrap yourself up with potentially a situation that will leave you a bit trapped, even if you don't feel like it, okay? Or to move you away from potentially something that's restricting you at this time, even if it's an individual. Could be a living situation. The tower. Setting up a solid foundation due to a past tower moment, all right? Allowing yourself to remember that it's not an overnight process to set this foundation or to just build something from the ground up. It's as if to view this tower that fell recently and you're building a completely new tower. The pyramids weren't built overnight. That's what's coming out. All right. To understand that you're backed up, you're supported in a lot of ways while building this foundation with the number six. It just feels like it's following this intense change that a lot of you initiated. Or just expected. Flopping out, we have know your worth with the Ace of Wands. And so thinking about a skunk as they walk into the room, you know, just knowing your worth when moving towards a new situation or continuing getting something off the ground in one way, shape, or form. Maybe even just trying to make the best out of a new relationship or an existing one. Either way, know your worth with this fresh start. It could be a fresh start in, in an existing situation, but for a lot of you, it's new, it's brand new, it's fresh, and you deserve it. Don't second guess that it's for you, okay? Or whether it's for you. It's meant for you and only you, Taurus. This is an intense reading. And I just did five of these mid-months before this. The most intense out of the six. Feeling sort of uh, confused and a bit guarded as to what lies ahead with this connection of the situation, maybe even just your career in general. If it's for your business, you're meant to be successful. I feel the need to say. Last but not least, we have this and that are true. This is meant to be in the upright. As you take a step back or you're pushed to take a step back to finish up the year, you need to not feel bad for doing what's right for you, whether it's leaving somebody behind, you know, once and for all, or just choosing one person over other people or choosing a business over a career choice that could have made you successful, but not in the right manner. Even if society or other people would have seen it as uh, more productive or just more abundant, you know the type of abundance you deserve or the path you're meant to head down. And I feel like you're being confirmed that you're doing what's right for you. Don't feel bad for taking time once again to finish up the year. 
to rest, to replenish. That happens at this point, I feel like the middle of the third week and the end of the year. And so it's like all the meanwhile, while you're taking a step back to figure out how you feel or just to sort through what you truly desire to make your way into January, you are being reminded that not everything that meets the eye is the truth. Certain people telling you one thing from the past or you've been wrapped up for a while and it being quite questionable. It doesn't mean you have to make up your mind right away, but also don't accept um, what you're hearing for face value. You know, it feels like a person or a situation where you don't fully fit in anymore. Okay. Wow. Let's pull one more for this. It just feels like all the meanwhile, you're expecting the worst with this person or these people or the situation. And I feel that's accurate. It feels like certain people are being prepared to exit your life by the universe. You do long for more and you deserve more and all of which is coming on the horizon. Wow, Taurus, just wow. So if this reading was truly helpful, don't be afraid to use that sword to whip out people, places, and situations that no longer suit you or serve you at this time. So go have yourself an amazing rest of the year and I'll definitely see you next time. Bye Taurus.